So welcome back to the channel. Forgot to take the lens cap off. So welcome back to the channel. I uh, working on a couple of things today. I uh, a friend reached out to my wife. Uh, she owns a um, a all natural dog uh, treats, and she asked me to make a uh, little leather piece to go along a tug rope. This is not the actual rope that she's using, uh, but she just sent this to give me an idea of what she was looking for. So this is the small version. This is uh, what I came up with for the larger version. I haven't stitched the holes yet because I actually messed up. The holes don't line up. I have to uh, go back in Adobe and figure out what's going on there. I think I know what happened but uh, so something I'm just playing around with today kind of a fun day I worked on um, <laughs> I got my my whole workbench is a complete mess right now I worked on a couple of those wood business cards um, that I mentioned back a couple of videos ago maybe I uh, <laughs> Not that I don't read the description, I just don't pay attention. But I bought this plywood for business cards and uh, where I made the mistake. <laughs> is that the, I thought I was buying eighth inch plywood, but it's actually quarter inch plywood. And um, so it's not going to be like a, a business card, I guess. Because it, I mean, yeah, it'll fit in a wallet, but... So, we're just going to include this, uh, we're, I mean, still working on the design. This is not our final design. I was just messing around with some stuff. Just learning Adobe and how to get it on a card. And So, I messed around with this for a little while. Came up with a couple of different versions. And then, uh, I decided to keep it more simple. Um... So I came up with, this is not our final design either, but it's a little scripture that I asked my daughter what her favorite scripture or what she seems to, she, she has different ones that she'll kind of latch on for a little while and, and what brings her joy, I guess. Um, but it's this one here. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. But it's just a small scripture with MRA leather goods and her birthday. And then a simple thank you on the back. So we just figured that we can just add this to our packaging. Um, uh, so when my, my wife can just add it to the uh, the packaging. And what else I've been going on, going, got going on today is I'm going to be trying something a little bit scary. Well, is it scary? I don't know if it's scary. So what I got going on is uh, in the laser. In the laser. This is just scrap pieces of leather. Just trying out something. <laughs> just something I wanted to try. So I got a piece of scrap olive green. Wicked and Craig olive green in there. And what I did is I sprayed adhesive some black bandana on the inside of it and then I masked the top part of it so that's what we got in the laser right now is we got a piece of olive green with masking on the top in the back side we have a piece of of uh, bandana and Right now it says it's gonna be it says it's gonna be one minute and forty four seconds to cut this. So what my fear is <laughs> it might not cut all the way through or the bandana might might catch on fire. So let's hit the button. Oh gotta turn my fan on first. Oh. 
Well, let's let that get up to speed. And then we'll hit the button. Let's hit the button and see what happens. caught on fire <laughs> all right let's see hot 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 don't get me so hot there's the bandana on the back of there this is probably not gonna work out <laughs> Turn off the fan. Shut the gold forge off. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Well, it cut all the holes, all the stitching holes right through it. <laughs> Could have laid out the uh, the pattern on the. Uh, could have laid out the pattern on the could have laid the pattern out on the bandana a little better so it looks a little better inside the I just threw a bandana over the strap too. I think it might work. So I realize I have a design flaw. <laughs> uh, I think I can handle this two different ways. I can approach this two different ways. This bandana is literally only spray adhesive on here probably could move over time I don't know so I guess the next one I make I'm gonna have to extend my stitching holes to go all the way around so I can sew the uh, the bandana onto the wallet I can do it that way or I can cut another piece of olive green basically just just top half and then put it on here and just stitch up no it would that would make any sense I might as well just stitch all the way around But it might look kind of cool with this part being all of green. You know, like if I stuck a piece of leather there and it was all stitched. Hmm. Anyways, 
kind of a fun day just playing around with the uh, with the laser, uh, working with Adobe, and just playing around and not having any pressure of uh, making any so-called project. I mean, so-called customer orders. <clears throat> I really needed the break and uh, this to, to get the chance to sit down here today. Uh, you know, to spend my weekend just messing around with different ideas is and messing around with the laser and messing around with Adobe Illustrator. I mean, just coming up with this was kind of fun. This was a last minute thought of this adding a a liner or a bandana to a to this wallet. I mean, it's I don't know, it's kind of fun. I'm enjoying myself today. So, just wanted to share that. I guess that's all I have for you guys today. I, uh, pretty laid back weekend. Just messing around here uh, on a couple of different ideas I've been wanting to do. And uh, I have time to do it. So, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if it's <laughs> something that you like, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe. And I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace! <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Catch you guys on the next one.